You think this is easy being being a YouTuber? It's not. It's tough. I never know what kind of videos I want to make or what's right for my channel here. So decided let's let's just try let's try all of them. Every little idea that I get. It's the end of the year. Give give something a shot. It's my discovery era. All that to say, hello, Willow Davis. How's it going? We're gonna check out. Let me sit down. A food reviewer, a food reviewer we're going to check out, Joey's Hungry channel here on YouTube. Apparently very over-the-top, overproduced uh, food reviews. And now I'm realizing uh, how, how much my channel revolves around eating. That's okay. Let's see. Let's see the Joey's Hungry Method. Wendy's new Italian <laughs> mozzarella cheeseburger review. Now, why'd they go and do that? Hey! Oh, damn. Oh, the slow-mo boomerang on the on the kitty cat? Let's go. Fuzzy Cat Productions, uh. Oh, damn. Oh, Hello, damn. my name is Joe, and welcome back to the Joe is Hungry channel, firmly situated in the city of Fairmount, Georgia. Why, is, why, why does it look like Casey Neistat's studio, <laughs> except with pizza boxes? Is that intentional? Is it supposed to be food Casey Neistat? What do we got on the back over there? Is that you? New menu item. The, it's called the new Italian... Is that just his videos? Mozzarella cheeseburger. Oh, well, there's a lot of camera with, angles, I'm realizing. That's a lot of camera Fresh angles. beef patty, a fried mozzarella cheese patty, marinara sauce, a slice of Asiago cheese on a toasted... Are these, like, are these, like, all running simultaneously, or do you have, like, a GoPro, and you're just like... Oh, oh, oh garlic not bun each single burger version will add 780 calories yeah that's literally a different video in the background let's get the get that view count up there that's a good idea you can get the single version for six dollars and 49 cents too many whooshes too many whooshes for me maybe for an average youtube consumer that's a, a respectable amount of whooshes after like a good five whooshes i'm good well, that's what we're doing today a double for seven dollars and 69 no cents. more a whoosh for a i beg you cent. a single burger combo stop over your wallet to tune of nine dollars stop it cents. before later in the video when we do the joe is hungry weight test until then you weigh the food let's head over to my favorite Wendy's in Jack Is that a Georgia. goddamn clap transition? Let's go. Georgia. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you for your shoes on Wendy. Oh my god, did the fucking GoPros attach to the <laughs> mirrors and stuff? Could I get two of the Italian mozzarella cheeseburgers, not the chicken? I like the person in the Mustang in the back with their hood up and sunglasses smoking. Just two sandwiches, yes. But, uh, single, double, or triple? Single. Single? Or, single, double, or triple? Single, double, or triple? Single. All right, it's gonna be 1389 for Look at that emphasis. He had to switch the camera angle. S single. D s single. There we is, go. Hey, yeah. Is this all so necessary? Yeah. Is this all so necessary in the review process? Who's this now? There we go. Hey, yeah. Got you some camera system, huh? Yeah, I make YouTube videos. Oh, really? I got to do a temperature test on them, so if I talk, they'll get cold. What is it? Joe is hungry. It's great advertising right there. That was also a little weird, but okay. <laughs> Man, the 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 <laughs> the people at the drive-through there shaking in their boots. Are, oh, damn! We're about to be put to the test. Oh dear. <laughs> Cheeseburger number one comes in at 150.4. Now, why'd you have to penetrate the burger to start off? Degrees Fahrenheit. Mozzarella cheeseburger number three. Not mozzarella on 46.3. You do sanitize that thing between? Mozzarella cheeseburger number two comes in at 146.3 degrees Fahrenheit. I would like to seem a little bit hotter than that. The uh, kind of makes me wonder whether they're making them right out of the fryer to order. Probably not. But <laughs> who, who gives a single shit? To be honest with you, scope and do the Joe is hungry. Oh my Wait god, test. Italian mozzarella cheeseburger. Number oh man, oh man, I could imagine this playing at the board meeting of uh, <laughs> Wendy's uh, 
quality assurance. Corn weighs in at 8.80 ounces. Italian mozzarella cheeseburger number two weighs we in at weighing? 9.05 ounces. Add them together, average them out, do the math, and you come out with a high normal 73 cents an ounce. Now it's time for- Wait, Does that go into the review? Does that go to the rating system? How much it costs per ounce of food? You ever have like rice? Or the Let me tell you, it's a good value there. Yeah, on looks, I'm giving this, uh, doesn't, doesn't pass. Damn, I could, I could make this easily. Is that a, is that a mot, a breaded mozzarella patty? What is that disc? Is that supposed to be chicken? What is this? <laughs> Machete? The hell? Oh, it's a pocket of mozzarella. That's a uh, it's a pass, not like a passing grade, but I will pass. Obviously, I mean, hey, no, the video's good. I was talking about the sandwich. Uh, great, great videography. I mean, it's like way too much, <laughs> but uh, this is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. This was that, is a the real thing. And this is the digital representation of the real thing. We've seen what it looks like. We saw how much oh, you got him, Joe. Which it was a little bit of pricey as far as I'm concerned, but nothing replaces the women. Who's this? Jo Who's singing a song right now in the background? Joe is hungry. You'll plugged into the Stouffer's roast turkey dinner? Bite test. Engage. Damn, slow mo on the bite. For for all the effort, I thought I was thought we were gonna get a Guy Fieri bite. This was a, a downright nibble. Oh, he's going in, he's taking many dainty bites. Oh, a crisp diet coke. Oh man, I could go for a beverage right now. Ooh. Don't don't. hyped right now oh it could use a good bit more marinara sauce the mozzarella cheese patty still doesn't have very much flavor as far okay. as the asiago cheese i can't even taste it and like a okay. chicken brother it's a little bit on the dry side but not quite as bad the beef and the mozzarella patty who's got a chicken brother are a little bit better flavor combination than the chicken all i can say is wendy's guys wendy's nuts going in your mouth put a little bit more marinara sauce on it it'll probably help it out now it's time to give this thing a score my scale is one to ten nine being the best anything above nine is a once in a lifetime experience five and down is the slippery slope to food hell so let's go ahead and give this thing the number okay I need, I need, I need to take some, I need to take some video making advice from this guy. I'm liking the philosophies. Number that it truly deserves. Oh damn, what's it gonna get? I'm guessing it's gonna get a, I'm guessing it's gonna get a five. Not terrible. We have to go back and and look at the chart for what each number means. Does it have a bad aftertaste? I'm gonna have to go with a five dot seven. I'm gonna take that as a win for me on the guess that is my number excellent now what what does that mean this thing a score my scale is one to ten nine being nine to ten food nirvana almost to never okay eight to nine food to travel greater than 30 miles to get seven to eight decent fast food local only six to seven above average drive through food Five to six, middle of the road fast food, and zero to five, free fall to food hell. So I take that to mean anything below a five is not really worth your time, I guess. And you give it a, a 5.7, so we got middle of the road fast food. Oh, you did the Beyond Chicken, Orange Chicken from Panda Express. I wanted to get that so bad, but all the Panda Express is closed in this area, and I'm not driving like an hour away or whatever to uh try the beyond or chicken but it looks so good i wonder what he'll think of it did 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 
Report of the Week review bra. Did you check that out? Probably didn't like it. I'd probably rather make it myself, but whatever. Oh, we start with, it's just the cat in every uh, intro shot. That's genius. Tucker, Tucker, get on in here. I got a friend for you. Dang, the Panda Express got a drive through Could I get three small orders of... Uh Beyond chicken or beyond orange chicken. Orange beyond chicken. Let's go off to the side and do the Joe's Hungry temperature check. Oh, we have to penetrate it first, right? Orange beyond number one comes in at 153. Oh, damn. Right through the side? We couldn't. You couldn't just stick it in the towel. What the? Point zero degrees Fahrenheit. Orange. I guess you want to get in as hot as possible. Beyond number two comes in at 155.3 degrees Fahrenheit. Orange beyond number three comes what in. Are at you, what are you looking for here? What temperature is like ideal for, for 49.4 each thing? degrees Fahrenheit. I realize they're not cooked fresh. They're just dug out of a dipping station, but they're within temperature limits. So I'll give them a pass. Oh, is this? Oh, is that like for sanitation or whatever? Okay. The Joe is hungry. Temperature test. Now it's time to take this exam to the next level and do the Joe is hungry. Wait. Don't clap at me like I mean it is a cool clap transition, but I mean hey, I'm up, I'm up. You got me. How much is how much is tiny box? So they fail the Joe is hungry weight test. Now we're gonna take the Damn. real weights, add them all up. Average them out, do the math, and we come up with a revised one dollar and forty-three cents an ounce. So Panda Express, I guess it's all about the money, baby. With that in mind, it's time Damn, how for about that? the Joe is hungry big reveal. Oh, it's oh, it's just the little nuggies. Oh, it's why would you? Okay, all right. You didn't want any noodles? No noodles. No rice? Just, okay, all right. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. Oh, this, why didn't you get the rice? This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. The Joe is hungry, bite test. All so right. it is, bite test. I can you, can you speak up? It's a little loud. Oh, oh, oh dear. He's not liking it. Oh no. Joe, you don't have to finish it. I, do, I understand. To wash that down with a Diet Coke. Hashtag not a sponsor tubes. This thing will definitely quench your appetite. The orange sauce is spicy and lacks any citrus taste. It is about four out of 10 on the Joe heat meter. The Beyond Chicken is Ooh. chewy and spongy and for me, difficult to swallow. There is no crispy outer coating like it's supposed to have. Maybe if it was cooked in order, it would be a little better rather than laying in a dipping station okay. to soak up the sauce for God knows how long. The okay. chicken meat itself has no taste. If it did, the sauce completely covers it up. That's probably a good thing. If they think this is a viable chicken oh dim he's upset it's gonna be okay meat substitute they are delusional if you are whoa vain, if they think this is a viable chicken meat substitute they are delusional oh if you are a vegetarian and like spicy food you might be all right with this let me know in the comments now it's time to give this thing a score my score is oh, one to ten. okay I anything above 90 say once in a lifetime experience in five i don't know they feel like there's an agenda down is a slippery slope to food hell so let's go ahead and give this thing the number that it truly deserves i don't like the way you said vegetarian do you i don't like the way you said that why'd you have to go vegetarian huh i'm gonna have to go with the joe is hungry three dot four oh. this thing has fallen well deep into well, the thanks joe now i never get to try it now they'll never open a panda express again you've doomed them you just you, the, the fucking panda express corporate just fired half of the people there pits of food hell that <laughs> for is this joe is number. hungry that review. Is my review and hopefully we'll see you in the stocks next video. plummeting well dang i wish there was more products like that i could test out now that's a video idea well it is what it is anyway thanks so much for watching if you got anything to say about that write it down in the comments now oh wait 
You can come join us on twitch.tv slash Willow Davis. Usually stream most uh, weekdays around like 1 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, I think we're going to try to react to Amber Lynn every day uh, in December or something like that over on Twitch. I'm still working on the details of that. But you should go follow there. And uh, other than that, I'll see you next time. All right, Willow Davis out. (laughs) 